What's going on, all you wild secret agents out there? Your two favorite super villains are back once again. We're talking about the brand new Marvel show that just premiered on Disney+. Plus. It's a six-episode streaming event. It's streaming now, and it brings back Nick Fury and those wild shapeshifters, the Skrulls. Also, Martin Freeman, Colby Smulders. Is it Amelia Clark over there? <laughs> yes, that's Daenerys. What a cast. And the name of the show is Secret Invasion. That's right. We we're all probably wondering what happened to the scrolls and after, you know, Captain Marvel movie happened and we were kind of set up for this TV show exactly with the scrolls. Of course, Ben Mendelsohn returned as Talos. Love this actor. He's a good mate, isn't he, from Australia? But Absolutely. He's a, a shape shifting green goblin behind us. But, uh, <laughs> you know, most of the show you'll see him as Ben Mendelsohn, the, the phenomenal actor. And of course, the rest of the supporting cast behind me. Bringing the Marvel world into the world of espionage. This is very, you know, secret agent. This is very MI6, James Bond, Born Identity. It's, it brings you into the spy world. And that's, you know, a change from what we've seen in the Marvel Universe. And, you know, whenever we see something new, it's always exciting. You know, see something new in this world that hasn't been done really before. You know, it's touched into it, obviously, a little bit with, you know, Agents of Fury and all that. But uh, this one very, you know, feels very much like, a, you know, a spy thriller uh, more than other shows and movies have in this world. Uh, so we get caught back up with uh, Nick Fury. You know, this takes place post, you know, Thanos snap, showing the world in a very different place and with the events with the scrolls and Captain Marvel, um, all these agents, you know, going after the secrets and, you know, trying to find out, you know, what, how far the scrolls have infiltrated in into this world. And it's going to be up, you know, to Ben Mendelsohn's Talos and Nick Fury to kind of figure it out and go as it goes along with the help of, you know, agent Maria Hill there and agent Everett played by Martin Freeman, old Bilbo Baggins there. And we also see there's old sweet Amelia Clark. We haven't seen her for a while. You know, and now uh, with the shape shifting goblins behind me, you know, really sets up the, a lot of the that episode you can see in a lot of characters shifting you're like huh is that a real person no it's probably yeah. a scroll and then they you know they shape shift into that it was really cool I, I thought the effects on this look really good but uh really it's bringing nick fury back he was in like some space headquarters bringing back having to deal with the, the scrolls and talos and what that's all set up with and then of course amelia clark's character in this she her name was gia so gia she brings uh you know she brings them basically into the scrolls home world like where they're all at and, you know, just the, how the scrolls normally live in that race of aliens. And she's involved in that. So we see her as a character. I don't know. If she, I don't think she's a scroll herself, although I can't really remember. First episode, you know, it's a lot of, you know, laying the groundwork for the rest of the season, uh, introducing us to these characters. And these two wild folks here obviously didn't pay as full attention as we should have, or, you know, we're just not huge into this world. And with the time span in between these movies, it's hard to remember back, you know, the 18 Marvel movies, you know what I mean? And post snap and, you know, it, it takes some time getting used to, and that's why they're giving us this streaming series and giving us these episodes here to uh, build this world. But uh, what I was drawn into this episode was the darkness of it, the dark tone, and, you know, not knowing who's who and who to trust, you know, I didn't even know if that was going to be Nick Fury at the end, you know, it could have been a scroll, who knows, they can be anybody. So that's really what the show is going to be in the, you know, obviously secret invasion. They're throughout the world here and, you know, it's going to be up to Nick Fury to find out with the help of Talos and can he even trust Talos 100%, you know, everything's up in the air here. There's a lot of, you know, double crossing and, you know, where the episode ends, a shocking death that's going to, you know, reverberate through the Marvel world. For sure. I didn't see that coming. I'm like, oh, damn. First episode, they're going to do that character that we've been following for quite some time. A lot of movies won't say who that is, but that's how they went out and how they're setting up the six episodes of this this series. So from the get go, the entire episode, I really enjoyed this. I like the espionage, spy drama, thriller, I guess. In a way, uh, with the scroll characters that were introduced to and, you know, 
Captain Marvel, which I was one of the few that actually liked that movie. I thought it was pretty good. Um, sort of fast forwarding 30 years after, you know, Captain Marvel and seeing where the scrolls are at and Ben Mendelsohn's character, Talos, introducing Amelia Clark's character, Martin Freeman. Some really good comedy in this too as well. And Nick Fury, of course, Talos had some good bickering back and forth. Yeah. Some sort of friendship. I like that part. Um, ben Mendelsohn's talking about his 40s and asked, you know, <laughs> Nick Fury what he got for his 40th birthday. And he said, the, <laughs> the Avengers, that's what he got for his 40th birthday. I thought yeah, that was, was really funny. clever and funny. So yeah, yeah, there's some good comedy. Uh, a lot of fun in this. You know, I'm pretty interested to see where this goes. Marvel's been pretty... Um, mostly misses for me lately, but uh, this made me, you know, pretty excited to see where they take it. So um, definitely on board after the first episode of Secret Invasion and can't wait to come back and review the entire season with you guys. That being said, I'm going to give episode one of Secret Invasion, we'll give it a three and a half out of five. Ben Mendelsohn hat pieces, mate. And I am going to give a Secret Invasion episode one, a three and a half out of five Colby Smolders hair pieces. Robin Sparkles. I want to hear what you guys thought of Secret Invasion Episode 1. Did you guys enjoy it as much as we did, or even more so? Were you guys able to keep everything straight and know all the characters already and think we're dimwits for not being able to explain it as well? Let us know in the comment <laughs> section below. And don't forget to click subscribe. Please follow along with us on all our social media channels, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We uh, post, you know, news, trailers, reviews daily on the daily and, you know, always check out our YouTube page. We're posting reviews every week and we always try to review the latest stuff. You know, the guys, you know, the, the movies that you guys all want to see, you know, all the big blockbuster summer movies and all the shows that are coming out. So, so we want to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for following us. And we will be back to review the entire six episode run of Secret Invasion in just a few weeks. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel all summer long. These two rascals will be back reviewing blockbusters, movies, hidden theaters, TV shows, and everything in between. And also, we're going to be start reviewing the Mission Impossible franchise leading up until the release of the new film. So I'm going through those for the first time. We're going to be back reviewing all the Mission Impossible movies for your viewing pleasure. Same old Ethan. So until the next Cinefellas TV review, I'm Uncle Henry Hill. And I'm Uncle Logan Myers. He's a scroll. He's a scroll. That's not him. Uncle Logan Myers signing out until the next TV review. Cheers. Cheers.